Students, Far From the Tree is a fictional title that you might want to read for literature circles. It is realistic fiction and it follows the lives of three kids who are brothers and sisters, but they were all put up for adoption. So they don't know each other, but the book talks about how they get to find each other. It is a fantastic story. On the back are a few quotes. This one says, Far From the Tree is the kind of book that strikes close to a reader's heart. I couldn't turn the pages fast enough. Beautiful. Another one says, Far From the Tree is a touching story about the strength and love of unconventional families and the unbreakable bond of siblings near and far. Robin Benway's characters are authentically crafted, full of heart, hurt, and hope. Another one says, From the first page to the last, this compassionate, funny, moving, compulsively readable novel about what makes a family gets it right. Expect to cry real tears at this one. And I'll say, I didn't cry at it, but I really, really liked it. Here is a little bit from the very first chapter titled Grace, because it's from the point of view of Grace, one of the three main characters. It says, Grace hadn't really thought too much about homecoming. She knew that she'd go, though. She figured that that she and her best friend, Janie, would get dressed together, get their hair done together. She knew that her mom would try to be cool about it and not get excited, but she'd make Grace's dad charge the fancy, expensive camera, not the iPhone, and then Grace would take pictures with Max, her boyfriend, of just over a year. He'd look great in his tux, rented, of course, because what would Max do with a tux hanging in his closet? And she didn't know if they'd slow dance or just talk to people or what. The thing was that she didn't make any assumptions. She thought it would happen and it'd be great. Grace thought like that about everything in her life. Homecoming was something that she knew she'd do. She didn't question it, which is why it was so surprising that she ended up spending homecoming night not in her fancy dress, not sipping out of Max's flask and dancing with Janie and taking cheesy photos of each other, but in the maternity ward of St. Catherine's Hospital, her feet in stirrups instead of heels, giving birth to her daughter. Hopefully that gets you interested.